Welcome back. Joining me now is photographer Mark Adams. Nice to have you on the program. Thanks. Tell me about your exhibition, Cook's Sights. Well, the Christchurch Art Gallery is closed, but they've got a space open in the old building on the corner of Churum and High, the old post office. And there's a small selection of works from a much bigger project. I started it in 1993, and it's kind of open-ended, but there's half a dozen works in there. 1993, yeah. I can't even remember, oh, yeah, it was high school, 1993. How can you start something then and, you know, still have it going yeah. now? So it's an ongoing project, obviously. Yeah, um, this stuff has been exhibited in various places, mostly public art galleries in New Zealand, Australia, Canada, um, Holland. All over. All over. Anyway, um, and there's been stuff out of it has been published. Cook Sites, uh, what was the idea behind that? Captain Cook? Um, yes and no. Um, it's kind of because I wanted to look at the beginnings of European vision in this country, or well, particularly in the South Island. So the, the project is specifically about 1773, James Cook on the resolution pulled into Dusky Sound in Fiordland. So the photographs in the show are all taken in Dusky, apart from one which is taken in Oxford in England. On board the resolution there was two scientists, um, the Forsters, Johann and George Forster, they were German. Um, they were very important figures in the history of the natural, natural history in Europe and England and Germany in the 18th century. The other person was William Hodges. He was a, uh, a painter and I wanted to make responses to Hodges' paintings in Dusky, which um, they're important because Hodges was the first professional, you know, um, painter, oil painter, to visit this country. And the paintings he made um, one of them is now in the Auckland Art Gallery, one is, the rest of them are in Greenwich in the Maritime Museum. But they're the beginning, this is where it begins. Hmm. And it was kind of wanting to, con to engage with that beginning. That's what I set out to do. So has this been your, obviously it's been an ongoing project since 1993, what else have you been doing this time? Have you been working on other projects as well? Um, I've got all these projects going. Um, I went to Ilam, you know, in the art school in Canterbury um, in 1967 and I picked up, they had an old plate camera there which nobody touched and it was just perfect for me and um, so I started working at that point. Um, I've done several books, I've done projects which look at the cross-cultural relationships in this country. So I've done a lot of work in Rotorua, which is kind of a nexus um, in a very interesting place. I've done um, a lot of work on Samoan tattooing by a very famous Tufunga Tatatau, that's a tat Samoan tattooist. His name was Polo Sulwapi. Hmm. He's very famous all over the planet. Um, I spent 30 years working off and on and off with Paul, that's another, that's another really big project. Wow. Um, that's been exhibited all over the place. So. What an interesting life. Amazing. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. yeah. So you've got your latest exhibition, um, Cook Sites, um, on at the, okay, so it's on the corner of, you know, the old Alice's place? building. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, the physics room is upstairs okay. and the, the, the gallery space is under the physics room on the okay. next floor. So how long, is it on, how long the, is the exhibition on for? I don't know. <laughs> Let me just refresh my notes. Okay, <laughs> the 20, it's on now. There's a website. <laughs> Until the 23rd of March, there we go. Yeah, okay. You've got plenty of time yeah. to go and see it. How many pieces do you have at the exhibition? I think there's six. Six. How many pieces altogether? They're all multiples. Like, right. um, the camera I use is a big, it's huge, it's made of wood. And it shoots sheets of film, big sheets of film. So a lot of the images are made up of more than one image. 
Yeah, I th we showed one before. Mm. It's just absolutely amazing. So that, here it is again. Mm. So that was at Dusky Yeah, Sun. that's um, Northeast Point on Indian Island. The subject of one of Hodge's paintings was standing on that rock in the centre, this um, Kati Mamoi guy who challenged Cook and these guys were rowing across the sound and this guy came out and challenged them with a what we could be a tire heart and um, they went up and met this guy and Hodges did this famous round painting which is in the Auckland Art Gallery. All right, Mark, great. This guy. So great to have you on the programme today. Find out more about Mark's latest exhibition, ChristchurchArtGallery.org.nz. Thanks so much for joining me today. Now here's a sneak preview of tonight's Point of View.